If you're looking for a tool to help you develop an innovation strategy, you really can't go past the Three Horizons framework. Created at McKinsey at the turn of the millennium, the Three Horizons framework is a disarmingly simple tool for helping you distinguish different kinds of innovation challenges and think about how to schedule and prioritize them on a timeline. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Three Horizons framework to make a start on your innovation strategy. I'm also going to use it to explain how incumbent organizations that fail to invest in innovation leave themselves open to disruption by fast-moving competitors who enter the marketplace with low-priced offerings that they test and scale fast. The Three Horizons framework has been a mainstay of innovation strategy for two decades. The basic idea is that leaders who are engaged in innovation need to be planning projects across three horizons simultaneously. Horizon 1 is the space of everything that you're delivering in the coming year. Horizon 2 represents everything that you're planning to ship two to three years from now. Horizon 3, that's three to five years out plus, the far-flung future. Time is really not what's important here. The important point is, if you want to make smart use of your innovation dollar, you are going to be focusing your time and attention to executing successfully on your Horizon 1 projects, but you are also going to be thinking about how you're going to execute on those upcoming projects in Horizons 2 and 3. The way we help clients develop innovation strategy at Phase 1 Insights involves using the Business Model Canvas. It's typically much bigger than this. This is another great tool. It is a framework for enabling you to map out all the key elements of your business model on a single page so you can have very focused conversations about how to innovate and improve on your model and, and take a holistic view so you can see how everything fits together and works together. So to get started on your innovation strategy, you map out your existing business model on a canvas. You place it there on your first horizon and that gives you your focus for your coming year. That enables everyone on your team to have very detailed conversations about how you're going to optimize, improve and execute on your existing business model. While you're thinking about how to get your Horizon 1 projects out the door, you'll be thinking about what do you have planned for Horizon 2? Horizon 2 is the space of radical innovations that you are planning to launch off the back of your current business model. So these are new products and services that augment your current business offering that you have a mind to get out the door two to three years from now. Horizon 3 is where things get really interesting. This is the space of crazy off-the-wall innovations that require you to develop totally new business models. This is a tough space to play in, but some companies do it extremely well. Amazon, for example, got its start as an online bookseller, but has subsequently achieved near monopoly status in several industries off the back of its remarkable ability to develop disruptive new business models. Amazon Web Services, Amazon Prime, Kindle, the list goes on. Now, not every company is keen to play at Horizon 3 level, but any leader with skin in the game needs to keep an eye on what is going on in this space. Companies that leap into the market at Horizon 3 level can quickly dominate and transform whole industries. This is a fact of life in the digital economy, and one of the virtues of the Three Horizons framework is that it helps keep it front of mind. Now, if you found this video interesting, please give it a like or share it. If you've used the Three Horizons framework before, we'd love to hear your stories. Please place them into the feed. Let's get a conversation started.